Well, I personally was going to have a, a facelift, and um, I knew if I if I looked any better, Catherine was bound to have a few changes in her life. So I talked to Bill Bell about if I have some time off, uh, if I needed it. My vacation was coming up, uh, but if I needed another week or so. And, and he said, well, yeah, sure. But he uh, came down to the dressing room one day, and he said, Jean, how would you feel about it if we sort of put Catherine through this. I said, well, it's a very good idea since I'm going through it and I am Catherine. <laughs> and so again, uh, uh, Elizabeth, uh, um, oh, uh, Elizabeth Harrow, magnificent researcher. In fact, um, my, um, my cosmetic surgeon at the time said to me, he said, if she calls me one more time and asks one more thing, I'm going to make her a cosmetic surgeon. <laughs> she was that thorough. So the story was written around and just so just statistically right about everything, which I said to Bill, if you're going to do it, you've got to do it in a documentary fashion or I don't want to do it. I don't want somebody doing it because Catherine did it. And consequently, uh, through that, they carried every step of the way, the emotions that you, one goes through, and so on and so forth, which Dr. Harry Glassman had worked with Elizabeth on this, and of course was doing my, doing my uh, lift. And um, the surgery took place. They filmed the surgery. Uh, a most amazing thing. And um, the next day, I was to go to Dr. Klassman's office uh, to remove the bandages. And he said, you know, if, if, if it's too messy, if she bleeds a little bit too much, I want to clean her up and we'll rewrap and do it. I said, I promise you I won't bleed. <laughs> so I, I, uh, it was filmed. And uh, Jack Wellman, who was playing my doctor, was doing the voice, but you would see Harry Glassman's hands doing all of the work. And uh, we had 52% of the viewing audience of television that day, one of the highest ratings that CBS has ever had. 52% of the people watching television was watching The Young and the Restless and this operation. And um, it was so successful that it broke wide open cosmetic surgery. It broke cosme cosmetic surgery wide open. And uh, I was, the next morning, I was taken to Dr. Klassman's office. Cameras were in his office. And of course, his hands are doing the unwrapping. And Jack Wellman is talking like the doctor, and so on and so forth. And Elizabeth Foster is saying, you know, now Mrs. Chancellor, you don't be discouraged if you don't like what you see right away, because it, it will take some time. And in the meantime, Dr. Glassman's unwrapping, and you think it's Jack Wellman, the doctor's, my doctor's hands. And um, it was so funny because um, I think uh, Jack Wellman, as my studio doctor, my play pretend doctor, he said, now, Catherine, we're going to look in the mirror, and I hear this voice because it is Dr. Glassman's hands taking off the bandage. He said, oh, Jesus, you said you wouldn't bleed, and you didn't. This little voice came out of the whole thing, and of course, nobody overlapped. They could bleep that out, but it was so funny because it threw Wellman, who was the actor who was playing, playing the doctor. It threw him, and he said, "Well, you sure didn't, did you?" <laughs> and Elizabeth said, "What?" And they were improvising, undre taking the bandages off my head because they got all caught up in in Dr. Glassman's one remark, and it played very well. So I had one day off, two days off, which Dr. Glassman insisted, and I got well on the show. Uh, everything from I'd start to do something, and my housekeeper would say, Elizabeth would say, Catherine, now the doctor said, do not bend. You're not to bend over. He'll tell you when you're ready to bend over and pick up things. All of these kind of things would happen. And we had a, a breakthrough in cosmetic surgery and even cosmetic surgeons were calling. It was, it was a breakthrough, and I didn't realize the impact it had until people were coming down to Los Angeles, getting appointments with my real doctor's office, 
of reconstructive surgery for kids, people who've been frightened, who have not led full lives, uh, they use something as a crutch or a deformity or what have you. And I, I think that's one of my proudest moments is that a lot of people made their lives better, not just through cosmetic surgery, but reconstructive surgery. And that whatever fear it took away, I do not know what it was, nor do I care to know. But if I did it, or Catherine did it, whatever they think or what, whatever they wanted to think, so many lives were made better. And I have letters that, that have come in even to this day saying, years ago, ba 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 or it's, it's the impact of daytime is, it's just that you can't, you can't imagine the impact that it has. And I'm talking about good impact. I'm not talking about impact that people think, ah, there's the dummy watchers who have nothing to do. That's old thinking. And whoever thinks that, rethink it, because you don't know what you're talking about.